Okay, uh, welcome to the very first uh, Let's Play for the Tiger Gamers. Um, We've got two options. We we'll do Gears of War Ultimate. Now, um, right into the fight. this Your actually choice. is going to be more of a uh, Let's take the should I buy kind of this first part. You can tell I, good, I, I took the training because it's been a while since I've honestly played this. I did the beta um, for the multiplayer, but I really, you know, I wanted to relearn everything. I mean, I hadn't played the first Gears of War since about 2006, 2007. So we did a couple of times, but, you know, that wouldn't work, the, as he said, the king's out. A little rusty, you know, but um, I want to talk more about, okay, should you buy the Ultimate Edition? Because most people have this on their 360. Um, like me, I have a couple copies of this, um, both digital and regular. So is this worth spending the $40, $50 on that it's going to cost you to buy it? Um, first, let's take a look at you know how it looks. Okay, this honestly looks beautiful. Especially compared to the original, this is a great looking game. The um, texture, um, the characters are done really well. You can't, I mean, how they were formed originally, you can't do a heck of a lot with that. Still see some of the squareness that happened with the original um, version, but you know, clothing, the guns, they look really nice. So. You know, in terms of how it looks, in terms of the gameplay, mostly gameplay, it's great. It is honestly, they, they've done a beautiful job. Um, Microsoft bought this from Epic. They, they really took some time on it. Multiplayer is still a multiplayer. There are actually people playing. You can easily get into games. I was a little shocked. I figured by now. I should hey, it's a new edition, so some people are, but I kind of thought yeah, it's not going to be a lot of guys on there. There's a ton. There's easy to get into a match. So if you love the multiplayer and you want to play that, if you're an achievement person with the achievements, there are whole new achievements for the Ultimate Edition versus if you have the original achievements. Um, The one downside I found on this is um, you're actually going to see soon, so I'll, I'll deal with it when you, we come across it. Um, but one of the best things I think about this is if you love the Gears of War games and you love playing them, if you play, buy this and you play it between now and the 31st, you actually get um, Gears of War 2, 3, and judgments and um, for the Xbox One. Now, two, three, and judgment are not remastered like this. They are not made to have that beauty and shine for the new systems. They are still the same ones you played on the 360, but they're part of that uh, backwards compatibility. And you get digital copies. Yeah, and I suck right here. And the great when a game lets you know you suck really bad by running into a door, because I totally forgot what you're supposed to do here. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to run to it. And um, yeah, my wife walked in on this, and she's like, oh, that's disgusting. And I'm like, yeah, that's what's so great about it. That looks really disgusting. That's so cool. Um, it's like, I was really impressed by the, the graphics on that, the update on the graphics, by this. But you get those, you get the backwards compatibility versions for free in November when they add that to everyone. You're also going to be able to play 2, 3, and Judgment on your Xbox nice. One. You won't have to either not be able to play them anymore because you had a 360 and you sold it to get your Xbox One or have to switch back and forth. Go, oh, I want to play 2 now. And, you know, bring out your 360 stuff and the failing batteries on it or using, you know, double A's on it because the honestly the rechargeable batteries kind of suck for 360. So here's one of the glitches you're going to see. Um, yeah, he's yelling at me to get a frag and it's like, there's no one there. What are you talking about? I did remember that door is supposed to open over there. Um, 
and guys come through, so I was like, maybe that's just, I don't know. But, so for 40 bucks, basically you get remastered Gears of War, which is a great game. Two, three, and Judgment original to play on your Xbox One. Plus, the Ultimate Edition not only has the original game, all the multiplayer. And, you know, including the downloadable stuff, like the Anya skin and stuff like that. And some kind of cool newer skin stuff. But you also get uh, some chapters that were only playable if you got it on the PC. And a person like me who, I didn't, you know, I bought this for the 360 when it came out. This is my second game I ever beat behind Saints Row. You didn't buy the PC version. And a lot of us at the time weren't even aware there were more chapters on the PC version versus the Xbox 360 version. It didn't make a lot of sense. So um, there are actually five more levels uh, during um, Chapter 5 that, that were on the PC that add to the story and experience and stuff that Xbox 360 people never got to play. And now you finally have a chance to play those. And, um, how they compare to the original PC version, I don't know. I didn't see it. You know, I can only compare what was on the 360 to what's on the Xbox One. So it, if you've never played Gears of War, definitely this is a must-buy. If you have, um, for everything you get for the cost, this is a really awesome package and is well worth it. Um, yeah, you see a glitch. I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, I know that door's supposed to open. No guy's supposed to come through. What do I do? Well, it turns out it's the first of many glitches I've discovered, um, which is the kind of sad side to, well, why are there glitches still on? If they spend so much time on this, um, you know, I got through the security door, but a Dom got through it, but apparently I have to quote unquote, let him through the door. So I finally figured out, it's like, cause the minute you do this, all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, he'll follow me now. And there, and so I skipped a little bit of backtracking here for um, time's sake. Yeah, this is the easiest way to get rid of these guys. Just toss a grenade as soon as that door pops. You'll be able to take out at least one to two of them. If you time it just right, you can actually take out all three. As I said, it should be as soon as the door popped. I hesitated a little bit, but it should be more effective. You don't bother going to get down. If you clear the area, your guys revive. You actually spend a lot of time, waste time. Reviving your guys versus just getting rid of them. Um, and you open yourself up to a lot more work. This area, your best bet is flanking. Flanking is the key to this game. Let your guys take a lot of heat. Don't call attention to yourself and flank from the side. And you're much better off. Um, enjoy the rest of it. A little bit left and we'll have more to come. Thanks, bye. Now! Go, go, go! 